Hi, um, my name is Michael D'Agostino. I'm the director of the Campbelltown Arts Centre. We're here as a part of um, Catching Light, a part of ISEA 2013. This multimedia and cross-generational project um, we've been working on for the last probably 12 months now. It's a project that's been curated by myself and also uh, co-curated with Megan Monty. Um, this project, we're basically looking at the history of new media art um, and how it's basically transformed a generation through the 70s, 80s and 90s, but it's also transforming a generation now. Um, these two generations have come together to create new works. With this type of show, we just let the sound bleed everywhere. Um, we don't try to control the sound. What we're actually trying to do is create um, visual connections um, between works. I've always been against new media works having little solo shows within the broader exhibition context. And we have the capacity now to show works against other works, video works against other works, um, you know, through data projectors being much brighter. Um, and also the visual culture that we operate in at, you know, at this current time, there all, is all this kind of white noise, there's all of this kind of sound, there's all of this interaction. Um, and why shouldn't a gallery space be any different? You know, um, you know, some exhibitions like this kind of, especially in this context, work extremely well to have that vibrancy and that kind of interaction. I was actually having a conversation with a colleague about three years ago and we are talking about the idea that a lot of emerging artists today are using a, um, an analogue technology that they can bend, hack and somehow circumvent um, to create a whole bunch of new tools, to create um, a new way of working and new ways of, to produce art. And we are talking about this and it was kind of fascinating in the way that, you know, wouldn't it be great if this emerging generation actually understood better and more succinctly where this technology came from and who was using it at the forefront um, when it was cutting edge. And so coming around to the idea, wouldn't it be great to hook up these group, this group of um, emerging artists with more senior artists um, so they could learn how to use the technology as it was used, but also it reciprocal. So the older generation will go, wow, I've never seen this technology used in this way. But what we tried to do is pick artists that were, I guess, working in varying mediums, so not just through either video or through sound or through a specific um, discipline or medium, and tried to really vary that. So I guess a part of the premise of the exhibition was how artists have always been pragmatic in the way that they've used tools. Um, with today's technology, a lot of the technology that we see, that we hold in our hands, that we use every day, is, you know, it's patented, it's unhackable, it's, it's, it's a closed loop and it's locked. Artists of today's generation, or artists, emerging artists, are using analogue technologies because they're able to bend it um, and able to, I guess, manipulate it and use it the way that they want to use it rather than using a pre-prescribed um, format which is usually produced by the manufacturer. Science fiction has been using this um, format quite a lot of bending technology. Um, you know a part of the inspiration for the exhibition actually comes from Terminator 2. Um, the John Connor of the future um, sent back um, a Cyberdyne T-800 to protect, um, that he reprogrammed to protect um, John Connor as a boy. Um, and so, you know, I guess that kind of theme about always, you know, technology is this kind of closed loop. You know, artists have, have um, are reacting against that and going, okay, I can use this, I can bend it. These are the tools that I need. I, th I think that they're trying to kind of, I guess, take hold of technology and understand it and use it in ways that um, that they feel empowers them rather than most technology has a set set of rules and a set set of functions. Um, and, you know, manufacturers, people that own copyright, people that own the IP, don't let, peop don't let the community that actually purchases to actually modify and use it in the way that they would rather use it. Um, and so, you know, artists, I think, have, have resisted against that to kind of create an agency and create um, a capacity to do something that they want to do. You know, there's, you know, within this work, there is a lot of social comment about 
um, you know, obsolescence. There is comments about, um, you know, feminist histories. There are comments about a range of different things. Um, but they're kind of, you know, they're turning these uh, complex issues on their head.